In this video, we're checking out Martin Mayer's GT sanctioned team bike. Martin was second place at the two opening rounds of the Enduro World Series in Chile and Argentina. So it's no doubt that he's gonna have some special setup and it's a super fast bike. Kicking it off with the frame, it's a full aluminium frame set, 160 millimeters of travel via that iDrive suspension system. It's also got about a 66 degree head angle, so it's super slack and can really handle those difficult stages that feature a lot of downhill technical runs. Moving up to the cockpit, he's got a 50 millimeter spacer between his headset and his stem. The stem is a race face atlas and that's 50 millimeters in length and the handlebars are race face 60 carbon handlebars and they're 770 millimeters in width. It's got a set of ODI grips. They're not too thick, but they're not too thin, somewhere right in the middle, and they've got a nice spongy grippy feel. He's got a set of Shimano Saint brakes and also a Shimano XTR lever. It's not DI2 though, but it is the mechanical shifting, so it's really reliable. The GT Sanction is a 650B bike, and looking at the wheels, Martin has got a set of Dan's No Tubes Gravel Carbon wheel sets. Carbon is quite unique. You see a lot of the racers tending to use an aluminium rim. It's also got a Stan's No Tube Neo front hub, and that's a built-in system. And then it's complemented with a Schwalbe Dirty Dan up front, and that's got a special cut for Martin, taking away some of those side knobs and also trimming the center knobs, so it's a bit better rolling, and it's got less resistance. Now the rear tire is slightly different than the front. He's got the Schwalbe knobby nick and that's actually a first ride one. So that's a prototype one. We don't really know too much about that. It's a casing between their Evo and also their Super Gravity, but that's a bit of a hush hush. He's also got that Schwalbe Pro Core system that you see some of the pro riders. It's two separate chambers. You can get super low pressures in that outer one. And hopefully using that inner chamber, you're not gonna get so many punctures. Also, we're just gonna look at his disc size. So he's got those Shimano Saint brakes that we said earlier, and they're 180 millimeters front and rear rotor size. Let's talk a little bit about Martin's suspension. On the front, he's got that Fox factory 36 fork, and it's got rebound adjustment, high and low speed, and you can also adjust it internally using volume spaces to increase the ramp up if you're going really hard on the bike. The rear suspension is also Fox. It's a Fox Float X shock, and it's Kashima coated. It's got that CTD adjust, so if Martin airs out on the climb, then he can actually lock that suspension out fully. He doesn't have to worry about any pedal bob. Martin's drivetrain is slightly different to what we see some of the EWS riders use. He's not gone for a double system up front. He's got a single ring there, and he's also got a Shimano XTR cassette. That's an 11 to 40 tooth ratio. And he's also got an XTR mech, XTR chain, and he's running a 34 tooth chain ring. He's also got an E13 chain guide to keep everything safe and secure. And even though that is a narrow wide chain ring as such, he's also opted for the chain device just to give that extra protection in the hope that the chain coming off won't ruin any stages. The drivetrain's finished off with a set of these Crank Brothers Mal E pedals, and they've got a little bit of a platform, but not too much, and they're keeping the weight nice and low. Keeping it pro, Martin's bike is finished throughout with his name badge on it. It's on the hubs, it's on the fork, on the frame, and then really neatly, it's on this Hope seat clamp. It's also got a 150 mil dropper post and it's finished off with a WTB Volt saddle. So man, checked out your bike, it is super nice. Some really trick things right there as well. I've noticed though that you're running that pro core system. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Do you find that it gives you a little bit of extra grip? Yeah, yeah, for sure. The pro core gives a little bit more grip and uh, you know in case if you flap, you have a puncture, you can still ride it. Uh, for sure, for an enduro race, it's uh, yeah. really, really interesting, for sure, yeah. Yeah, and you don't feel that a little bit of additional weight affects you in any way? You don't mind running the system? No, it's not so much weight, so much extra weight. So, uh, it's maybe 50 gram or something, so, you know, it's not much. Yeah, it's not going to affect you. Know, you. Yeah, yeah. If you fit enough, you know, you can... You can run you it. You can run it, Makes exactly, yeah. yeah. And then on your suspension, you've also got the Fox suspension here. Do you do much testing with Fox to get it set up? Yeah, we always do uh, testing. Uh, it's pretty often in January. Yeah. Uh, this year it was uh, in California and we did a lot of testing with Chris and uh, the Fox crew. So it's yeah. for sure always super interesting. And uh, yeah. you can feel after the two days of testing that the bike is running much better. So. Yeah. Uh, it's definitely a big part of the of the bike suspension, and uh, it's always uh, you know big 
a big impact if your suspension works good or not. So. Of course, yeah. And then you were telling me as well that you're going to be racing a few downhill World Cups just on the side, but you feel that there's no pressure and you're really looking forward to that feel. How do you feel that the downhill then translates to skills and enduro? Do you think that makes you a bit faster? Yeah, for sure. It's, uh, it's always super interesting because, you know, uh, down there you need to ride flat out all the way down and not so much in enduro, you know, you, know, you need to keep like maybe 5% of the, you know, of what you can give. So, uh, and when you give 100% like uh, in downhill, it's uh, when you come back racing enduro, it's, uh, you know, it's a bit more relaxing and uh, you can chill out a little bit more. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to it and it's always good to switch. And uh, the bike, you know, the sanction as a theory, it's uh, pretty similar, I would say. It's uh, not the same geometry, but you know, it's the same kind of frame and, uh, and suspension. So, uh, you know, it's not too hard for me to switch. Uh, yeah, of course. Yeah. And have you taken anything from racing downhill onto the enduro setup, bigger tires or suspension settings? Uh, I mean, it's pretty different. You know, like here in the back, in the back wheels, I have a pretty fast rolling tire. And, uh, you know, for a World Cup, it doesn't matter. You just yeah. need to have as much grip as you can. So uh, might not be the same same setting, but uh, you know it's it's always interesting to keep on mind that it's not the same discipline, and uh, yeah. you need to make some changes. So. Yeah. so you've got the best of both worlds for climbing efficiency, but yeah. also the downhill run. Yeah, for sure. That's what that's all right. It's always what I'm looking for. You know, a fast rolling tires in the back and. Uh, as much grip as possible on the front, as you can see with a dirty down. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's interesting for sure. Okay, thanks, Martin. Always a pleasure, guys. Thanks, Martin, for letting us check out your bike. It's really cool and great to see your bike set up. For more videos on GMBN, why don't you click just up there for how to ride Enduro with Martin Mays. You can also click down there and you'll get to our Pro Bike playlist. Yeah, and give a thumbs up if you like my bike and uh, yeah. yeah, and don't forget to subscribe as well, right yeah, in the yeah. middle. Right on the middle, subscribe to GMBN. Sweet. <laughs>